Chico El Luchador is the biggest star in the history of professional wrestling. Chico, 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 Chico. Take The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sin Cara. That's the level of professional wrestler that Chico El Luchador is. Chico El Luchador had all the fluidity in the ring of a Ricky Steamboat with all the charisma of a John Stamos from Full House. You know, Chico El Luchador, he had money, he had fame, he had respect until Juanito El Malo, Chico's arch rival, screwed Chico over. Chico El Luchador, I screwed that son of a and he deserved it. And then Chico's entire career just came crashing down. I'm Chico El Luchador, the greatest professional wrestler of all time. And in this documentary, it tells the true story of my life. Chico El Luchador has influenced everyone who is anyone in the professional wrestling business. Many people don't realize that, that it wasn't Shawn Michaels no, or Ray Kidd who, who invented the super kick or, it wasn't. or made it famous. No, it was Chico. It was Chico. Chico invented the Rainmaker. I saw him do it in Arena Mexico in 2006. Chico is the true OG master of parkour. I mean, one time, I wrestled him to a 30 minute time limit draw. We didn't even touch once. Yeah, he'll do anything to avoid a job. Go on, Luchador it inspired legions of fans, I mean, super fans even, uh, guys who built their entire lives around Chico. See, Chico's my hero. You know, now, I'm not saying that I'm in love with Chico. However, I kind of want to go on one date just to see what it's like, you know. To understand Chico's downfall, you have to understand that his ego had gotten out of control. Many wrestlers have stolen from me. La Roca, they now call him Dwayne, Brett the Pink Man, a Cold Stone, Steve Austin, and Hulk Hogan's. Before it was Hulkamania, it was Chico Mania, brother. Chico started to think that he was bigger than anything in wrestling. Try to get Chico to join the NWO, you know that, right? He told me it, was, it wasn't going anywhere. He said the same thing about DX. And Chico was getting bigger than wrestling. He was going Hollywood. I got an offer to star in the Marine 14. Mucho mas Marine! <laughs> Chico, you want to go Hollywood on us? So in our match, I was going to make you pay! You know, Chico... Hey, baby. Mwah. You know, Chico versus Juanito? Maybe, maybe the biggest wrestling match of all time. Right, Lou? Chico versus Juanito was an epic encounter for the ages. Uh, Chico was, of course, victorious with his finishing maneuver. Chico has the greatest finisher in all of wrestling. The rock bottom, into the cold stone stunner, into the big boot, leg drop, and finally, the sharpshooter. All these moves were stolen from Chico. But Juanito couldn't just lose like a professional. You know, I always suspected that deep down Juanito was jealous of me. Mainly because whenever I'd see him, he would say, F you, you dirty son of a b I'm jealous of you. So Juanito did something that was not in the script. You know, it's such a Juanito double crossed Chico, ripped his mask off. It wasn't supposed to happen. Luchador's mask represents his soul. This mask has been passed down for generations. My father, Chico El Luchador Classic, wore this mask his entire life. Chico El Luchador Classic! I never saw my father without the mask. He died in the mask. He was buried in the mask. He even left the mask for me in his will. Which I, I wish I would have known ahead of time because then I wouldn't have buried my father in the mask. Yeah, 
he had to dig up the coffin to get the mask back. It wasn't pretty. You know what else isn't pretty? My back pain. I am a physical disaster. I have more disc herniations than I can count. But thanks to DDT Yoga, I can now function as somewhat of a human being. Thanks, DDT Yoga. DDT Yoga! Actually, thank you, DDT Yoga. You fixed my diabetes. But in the end, Juanito didn't screw Chico. Chico screwed Chico because of what he did next. Once I realized my mask was gone, I snapped. I beat up the referees. Who took my mask? Who took my mask? Witnessing the demise of a legend. I can't. I don't even want to watch it. I don't even want to watch it. He was a turmoil. I just couldn't bear to see him like this. I didn't want Chico to ruin his career just to flush a legacy down the toilet. I mean, would you leave a wounded animal on the side of the road? Especially a beautiful gazelle like Chico? I had to act. And I had to act fast. I've punched a fan who's um, slid in the ring before and tried to uh, punch me, but I've never, ever punched a fan who's slid in the ring and tried to hug me. Are you kidding? I still can't believe Chico punched his number one fan. I lost so much respect for Chico that day. I just couldn't believe it. Chico actually clenched his fist, reared back all the way to Zacatecas, and just decked me in the face. You can beat up fans if they charge the ring because they're drunk. But you can't beat up fans if they charge the ring because they love you. After the match, he wrote WCW with his hands like that. WCW hadn't been around in years. Yeah, Chico just kept writing letters in the air. I mean, WCW and then like a STRW. Wait a minute, I think that was actually a Saskatchewan promotion in the 70s that Stu Hart's cousin used to run. I'm not leaving! Would you like that? My mask. I I sat in that ring for 17 days, waiting for someone to respect me. Instead, I got served with papers. That fan is suing me for $10 million, unless I go on a date with him. Drinks, dancing, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> you know, there could be some great chemistry in there. And, you know, just to be his partner for life. That was the beginning of the end of the greatest hero in the history of our business. He ruined his career and he ruined his family legacy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa. Lo siento. <laughs> But the wrestling business is funny. Just when you think someone is gone for good, they find a way to make a miraculous comeback. And miracles do happen with the help of DDT Joga. Stang! But every day, Chico wakes up in the morning, he has 27 raw eggs something that the sly Sylvester stole from me and put in his movie. Uh, I run 17.7 miles a day. Uh, I do, you wonder maybe why I do 17.7 miles a day, and it's because uh, I like to go around the ice cream shop two times, so I can yell at the fat man inside and say, look at this body! And I'm better than you, 
and I'm better than you. I'm also available for bookings and quinceañeras. <laughs>